banter in the 57 kilo final of the World Freestyle Wrestling Championships. Canada versus the United States. The first American in final. In red from Canada, Gia Sasori. And he's against Terry Brands of the United States in the blue. Distinctive Stars and Stripes costume for the American team. Canadian O, oh, it didn't come off, but in wrestling, we try to not penalize wrestlers that take risks. It's all about risk taking in order to gain points and to throw your opponent. So if a throw doesn't come off just like this, then you're not penalized and your opponent doesn't get an advantage. So Terry Brands was world champion in 1993. Is set. Stuff is set to get in control with a single leg. Canadian is strong, breaks the grip. Brands, judge passive. So he's put in the parter position. Sasuri of Canada in control. No points scored yet in this 57 kilo final. No progress being made, so the wrestlers are brought back to the center. Terry Brands only conceded one point in the rounds Leading up to this final, it was against Azerbaijan. We beat him four points to one. Canadian being passive, and Brands given the option, parterre or standing. Brands elects for standing. The current 57 kilo world champion. Alejandro Puerto of Cuba. Unfortunately, went out very early in this competition, placing only 14th. Canadian gets around the back to get the first point. Turns Brands over for a further two. This is an upset for the Americans. And then he goes three points up. You see from the clock, there's plenty of time remaining. A lot of things can happen. Within the five minutes of the bout.
Uh, spins around the back, gets in control. Carries on to turn Brands over his back. Gets another two points. Three points to nil. Brands in danger of going over. He gets out. And we go off the mat. We're playing the mat. I think Canada got a caution. It's difficult to see the scoreboard from here. The wrestler is only allowed to get three cautions. On the third caution, it's automatic disqualification. in the lead three points to one in this 57 kilo final Brands get a leg attack and successful though Less than 30 seconds remaining. In the bout. Could be an upset for the United States. Canada in the lead. On the edge of the mat. Canadian goes off the mat. And the referee judges as he fleed the mat. So he gives Brands a point and the Canadian a caution that's two cautions the score now 3-2 Canadian got two cautions he cannot afford to get another one again goes off the mat did he get another caution it appears he did Terry Brands gets another point the scores run level, but I think Canada has three cautions. And that means disqualification for Canada for fleeing the mat. And the Americans celebrate with their first gold medal of this competition. We have Terry Brands, the 57 kilo world champion. Controversial end to a final here in Atlanta. But there's no doubting the decision. Terry Brands, the new 57 kilo world champion. Action replay. Difficult decision there. Was he just trying to get away from the attack or did he actively leave the mat?